Hey guys, Chris with B Automation here, and if you don't know me, I'm an electromechanical engineer. Been working as an engineer for about 20 years, and I now run a business in the controls and automation industry, primarily focusing on smart home automation and commercial BMS or building management. And a lot of what I do now is produce training, and I've just been working on a, on a training this morning focusing on helping people start businesses in this industry. And I've just finished this, this training where there's a lot more details, but I wanted to share with you the, how you go about make, bringing an offer to market, you know, providing services, solutions, you know, solving problems, and ultimately creating an offer that you can bring to market and you can you can sell and you can make money and you can build a business off the back of so i've just i just want to share with you a, a graphical visual representation of what i'm calling the layers of an offer and how you get to that point and the example i'm going to use in this training is well you'll see so we're starting off with the client. This is this is obviously the first thing that we need to, or not obviously, but this is, because it's taken me a while to get to this point, but the first thing is the client or the niche. And we, we, need, to, we need to identify who we're serving, you know, who that, what that person looks like and you know, what niche are they in? So for this example, the niche that we're going to focus on is Airbnb. Okay, that's the niche. And our avatar, our client is a middle aged man. And this isn't based on any um, specific research or data. This is just a, a feeling that I have. So I might be completely wrong. But I would say the majority of Airbnb owners are middle aged men. Um, all women actually um, I was just thinking of the Airbnbs that we've stayed in I would say the split is actually quite even as to yeah so I don't know that but let's just say that we're let's just say Airbnb owners whether they're men or women doesn't matter but middle-aged people that own Airbnbs so that's our client that's who we're focusing on so then the next stage after identifying our client and the niche that we're going to work in and we're going to serve is well, what problem are we solving for that client and that niche? But businesses arise out of solving problems, like pretty much every business you see solves a problem, you know, in, in, in the way of a service or a product. So we need to now identify what those problems are that our middle-aged people that have the manage or have Airbnbs are. So if we're new and we don't already have an established business, this is where we do market research. So we have to speak to these people and understand what their problems are. And if we speak to enough people and we log the data and we keep track, then we can identify what the common problems are. And the, the more we can relate to these clients, this niche and understand them and really put ourselves in their shoes and emphasize with them or empathize, um, whatever it is, whatever the word is, then we can we yeah we better we understand them on a deeper level which means we can then move up to this next level of coming up with solutions and so the better we understand our client our niche our market and really understand their problems we can come up with much better solutions and go deeper into these solutions so this is the next phase we need to come up with solutions to solve their problems and then the next phase and this is more specific to 
the industry that I'm in, so controls automation, whether that's smart home automation, whether that's commercial BMS or even industrial controls, this is where now we need to select a product. And when I say product, I'm talking a control system. So a manufacturer, so maybe it's a Siemens control system, maybe it's a Loxon control system, maybe it's a Xenio KNX control system, maybe it's Trend, maybe it's Tridium, maybe, it, you know, there's loads of them. But this is where we really need to select the right product slash control system that's going to help us provide these solutions. But we're not going to really be able to choose the right product until we really know what the solutions are. Because um, it might be that we've got a certain control system that is specifically focused on solving this you know, sp specific problem in this specific niche. So we need to, we need to select the right one. Um, so that's the next thing. We choose the, the, the control system that we're gonna use. And now we kind of have a service. We, 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 ha we can bring, we can provide a service to that niche, to that client, to that avatar. And I've actually skipped forward a bit. So let me just go back. So going back to the problem. So the problems that middle-aged Airbnb owners managing maybe multiple Airbnb properties might have, and I'm just going to give one example to keep it simple, but they might have the, the problem or the annoyance of having to either let people in and give people or, uh, their customers keys to the property, um, or maybe they've got a key safe, you know, on, on the side of the property, like a manual key safe, but they've had problems of, of people losing keys. So they don't want, they don't want to rely on using a key or a key safe. Um, so that's kind of an initial problem. That's just one example. I haven't done my own research in this area, so I don't know all the problems that come up, but that's just one that sprung to mind. So that's, that's one problem that they have. So then a solution to that problem, again, we're just solving one solution for one problem, then we might be able to provide a remote entry system um, or a code entry system, whereby we can allow the, our client, the Airbnb owner, to send a, a fixed code to their clients that are going to be using the Airbnb that only works for the period of time that they're staying in the Airbnb. So they can just text their client, this is your code and it will work from this time to this time and that's it. So that's a, a pretty simple solution to, to that initial problem. And then, as I mentioned, we select you know, what is the right product and control system for that specific solution. And on this, you really want to just, from collecting all of those problems and then finding solutions, then you really want to just pick one control system that's going to solve all of them or solve 80% of them. You, you don't want to be learning multiple control systems. It's it's hard enough doing all of this and running a business and it's hard enough learning a, a control system for the first time if you, you're not familiar with this kind of thing. So you just do your research and you pick the best control system for these solutions. So now getting back to where we were, we now kind of have a service that we can provide. Um, we, can, we can bring this to people and offer it as a service, but this isn't really complete yet. Like this is kind of, it's, 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 it's one step away from being an offer. And the, the, so the final thing now is just wrapping it, <clears throat> wrapping it up into a cohesive offer. And an offer is kind of a collection of all of these things. 
So it embodies all of these things that we've just talked about. And an offer really is now how you're positioning yourself in the market. You know, how you're positioning your, your service, ultimately your service, but your service is then made up of like the product that you use, the solutions you provide to the problems that clients have. Okay, so our offer really is how we're positioning ourselves in the market as a business. So let me give you three examples of an offer. <clears throat> okay, so an offer might be, we provide smart home automation services. Okay. Now, let's try going a little bit deeper and let's make our offer sound better than just, than just that. Because it's a bit vague, um, doesn't really stir up much curiosity, doesn't really say much, it's not very specific. So, what about we provide ready to go home solutions that save you money, save you time and make day to day living easy. Okay, so it's a little bit more intriguing, generating a little bit more curiosity It's telling us a little bit more about, you know, what it tells the client a bit more about what you actually do and how you help them kind of thing how we how how the the business is is positioned it shows a client how a potential client how the business is positioned in the market so these are okay these are okay but now let's really dial in the offer and how we're positioning this this example this airbnb example that we just just went through so this is what and this this can be dialed in further um, you know, I've only spent the morning sort of going through this this example and this offer and this training. So you could go into this in more detail and get even more specific. But this is what I've come up with. So we assist Airbnb owners with property management. So the first thing, me as a client, you know, an Airbnb owner, I'm like, Wow, well, while I'm an Airbnb owner and I manage properties, so straight away I'm like, this, this, this is for me. I'm curious now, what more do they have to say? And then by installing systems that automate their operations. So again, me as a client and Airbnb owner, I'm like, wow, there's there's I can I can automate my operations. Tell me more. Our solutions help reduce electricity costs, okay, eliminate the need for in-person visits, <laughs> that would be that would be helpful, and make day-to-day -day property management easier, more efficient, and affordable. So, do you see like how this is very specifically targeted at exactly who we're serving, and to a point where they're like, this is almost like a, it's not a no-brainer offer. Like you can go deeper into this whole offer thing, um, but it's it's beyond the scope of this short video. But I ho hopefully you see my point on how how you need an offer. Like it's no like a service or a solution isn't really enough. If you really want to thrive and build a successful business. These are the things that you ultimately need to, to focus on. Um, and if you do any research into successful businesses, entrepreneurs, this is what they do, you know. So I'm just going to read it one more time just to hit home, like how you present an offer, how you position yourself as a business in a market. And obviously this is catered to that example of Airbnb owners. So. We assist Airbnb owners with property management by installing systems that automate their operations. Our solutions help reduce electricity costs, eliminate the need for in-person visits, and make day-to-day -day property management easier, more efficient, and affordable. Hope you found this useful. See you later.